Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. R and D are something new, which we are all aware. Uh, essentially, I will talk about the course material I have developed, which of course can be refined on MSIL and its use in teaching a course on compilers. So what I have done is I try to understand the MSIL instructions. Uh, initially, we had some problems in terms of access to material, but my students were to some extent successful in browsing the net and getting at some tutorials and so on. And uh, they have coded a few programs which have been tested, which could be used. They're all graded uh, examples. So about, I have right now about 24 or 25 programs with me, which are tested. Uh, what the first 10 are essentially the basic uh, programs normally that we introduce when teaching programming uh, at the uh, introductory level. Uh, and then we have the other slightly uh, slightly involved problems as far as students are concerned, but for you for you they may they may not be very they may be trivial. So these programs will be demonstrated in the class by uh, discussing the new instructions that are used in uh, developing the successive uh, programs. Uh, uh, then I also have a user manual. First, the user manual essentially dealing with the uh, instructions. Uh, so the environment in which the programs have to work, initially we have given. And you know, as it's referred, the TLAs, three letter acronyms that we have, uh, there are a good number of them. First, I wanted to present an overview of them and then uh, go to the uh, MSIL instructions, basically arithmetic shift and so on, then to the method declarations and the object-oriented uh, kind of uh, instructions. Uh, uh, a few months back, I could uh, lay my hands on to the last two references, that is the books by John Gogh on compiling for the .NET common language runtime. Uh, I really enjoyed reading this book, and uh, after going through this, I'm thoroughly convinced whatever instruction material I have prepared, I have to revise. And uh, the second book also was very interesting. That also I liked it. Uh, that is Inside Microsoft .NET IL Assembler. Uh, maybe I could not, but if uh, I had access to these books, though they're published in 2002, earlier, I could have, my job would have been perhaps uh, much um, uh, simplified. I will demonstrate uh, uh, two or three programs. Um, since MSAL is like assembly language programming, of course, more than that, it's not just a typical uh, conventional processor assembly language. But in that course, this could be discussed. And in a course on compiler construction, MSL can be used. This could be a case study for intermediate representation, that is uh, uh, IL. And what I would like to do is not only introduce MSL as an IR, 
in a course on compilers. I would also like YACC programs generating MSL code. Similarly, the, when we teach syntax direct translation, I would like the semantic rules incorporating these features so that the MSL code can be obtained for the standard construction in a language and uh, certainly it will be uh, useful in teaching the course on that. As part of the project, I have planned for a five-day workshop uh, aimed at teachers from engineering colleges. Uh, that I could not conduct, but I hope to do it either towards the end of December or in January. And I will run these programs, ask the participants to make extensions, and uh, seek their comments and suggestions with regard to the instruction manual. And uh, that is whatever I have made, then it would be uh, made available. Uh, of course, before I go to the demonstration of those programs, two, two of my students had a look at the Lisp compiler that is provided in the Rotar environment. It was a very a primitive kind of thing. In fact, printing a nested list, the, the, we could not do it. So that list has been extended. Particularly, apply and avail functions have been implemented. Of course, in C-sharp, that's also here. I would just uh, uh, demonstrate. I'll show you the source also. This is the Towers of Hanai program, but there are three disks, the number of moves, and uh, uh, if it's four disks, this is it. Uh, we'll also look at, next, uh, I'll show you the code later. I, we'll also look at the eight queens problem. So we have the first solution, then the next solution. We have 92 solutions for this. Um, anyway. Anyway, this perhaps is no. So I'll show you the code. MSL programs. Um, 
I mean, I don't think I can explain the uh, code at this stage. Uh, I'll just show the list programs also. I'll, I'll show you after some time. Yes. Maybe we have a demonstration of the programs. Sure. Demonstration of the prototypes is set. Right after your talk, we'll have time to do so that. After that, I mean, during that time, I'll, I'll be able to get it. So I'll, I'll do that. Now, you know, um, I'm not able to do it here. I'll go there and sit and do it. It's so if there are suggestions, you, I, uh, you, you compiled. You compiled file list test too, and you are trying to invoke lips, list text. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, that's it. So anyway, I'll show you the program also. Now this uh, involves both apply as well as eval, and they are essential for, uh, I mean, uh, Lisp. So there are also other programs we can also write them. So if there are suggestions, I would like to receive. I just want to know what exactly the students would gain by looking at CIL programs uh, explicitly, by writing programs in CIL. The reason is uh, we never ask students to write programs in Java byte code to understand how a JVM works. Well, the, the idea is uh, the, a course on compilers at the undergraduate level uh, I teach which deals with front end of the compiler followed by the back end. And in the process, IR is also discussed, intermediate representation. So in the laboratory, as a case study of IR, we will have MSIL. And then some students who are enthusiastic can also look at the back end optimizations. So if you have MSIL. And then leading to the uh, target machine uh, code. That's the objective. And uh, this book also, he talks about emitting the code, code generation, I think seventh chapter is that. We have the abstract syntax trees from that, the semantic rules, and then the code generation. So the semantic rules could be based on uh, the MSIL language. And we get that code. For, for further uh, study in terms of, as I said, optimizations or at least transformations. So that's the objective. <laughs> so uh, you are teaching uh, the, the MSIL assembler, is it right? Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. I have not yet started because right now I have understood and have gone through the process. So now I would start teaching. But before I actually formally teach in a semester, uh, as I said, I will conduct a workshop for the teachers from sister engineering colleges. S get feedback from them. But certainly I would teach MSL. 
I mean, very informally, I want to teach this semester itself in the laboratory. Okay, uh, another question. Can I uh, mention it in my book? Yeah, you, you do, please. The fact that you are teaching this. Yes, I think you can mention. Thank you. Not, not so much a question as a statement responding to some of the other questions. Uh, at QUT, we have been teaching some compiler courses using IL, and it's it, it's a really good experience. So I'd encourage you to uh, continue with this. And just, I, I mean, apart from the fact that um, that it's a nice IL to work with. The advantages are compared to almost any other platform that you can work on. Uh, students can write tiny toy compilers, and already they have a debugger that works. They can, with a, a, a little bit of extra work, they can single step through IL uh, by uh, you know, taking out line markers and using ILASM to put the line markers in. So you can single step through IL, you can also uh, debug your programs in the source language with no extra work. Now that's a huge uh, overhead in, I mean it's just too hard for students of compiler construction to not only do the compiler but also in, in a conventional environment learn how to uh, put out uh, uh, simple table uh, records. I mean it's just, it's just a really, really good framework to work on. So. You know, I really endorse what you're doing, and I think you'll have a wonderful experience with it. Thank you, certainly. We take this action. Because now the emphasis on the front end, we are reducing, because uh, many tools are available and so on. So we would like to focus more on the IR and beyond, that, even at the user level. Thank you.